Happy Friday, CA football fans. It is time for three things to watch. Let's get right to it with Rob's first thing to watch Saturday that involves a reunion of sorts and a top 25 matchup between JMU and Elon. Yeah, as we mentioned on This Week in CA Football, there are a number of great storylines to this game as JMU head coach Kurt Cignetti makes his return to Elon. But what I'll be watching is whether the Phoenix is able to move the ball on the ground against the Duke's defense. In Elon's 27-24 victory in Harrisonburg last year that ended JMU's record 20-game conference winning streak, the Phoenix piled up 212 yards rushing, which was 62 more than JMU allowed to any other opponent last year. Now, Elon once again has a talented stable of backs in Jalen Thomas, Deshaun McNair, and Breland Cyphers, but they will be going up against a JMU defense that ranks third in FCS against the run, giving up just 69 yards per game, and the Dukes haven't given up more than 84 yards in a game all year. The second thing to watch for on Saturday will be the other top 25 conference matchup between Villanova and Maine, and what a game they played last year, Rob. Yeah, last year's game was a hard-fought defensive struggle that went to the Black Bears 13-10 as Kenny Doak made a school-record time 52-yard field goal on the game's final play. Now, I don't see this one being a low-scoring affair, but the thing I'll be watching is whether Maine's vaunted black hole defense can at least slow down Villanova's high-flying offense. The Wildcats rank 7th in FCS in scoring, averaging over 42 points per game, and they they haven't been held under 34 all season. Quarterback Daniel Smith has accounted for an incredible 17 touchdowns with a league high 13 coming through the air. And Villanova also features running back Justin Covington, who leads the FCS with 556 rushing yards and has topped the 100 yard mark in all four games. Villanova is converting better than 50% of its third downs and has scored on all 14 trips inside the red zone. Maine's always tough defense has been solid this season, giving up 350 yards per game, but they haven't created the type of big pressure plays we've become accustomed to over the years. Last week at Colgate, that changed, as Maine recorded eight sacks, which was its most since 2012, and 14 tackles for loss. Will all CA talents Kayon Whitaker, Charles Mitchell, and Tazi Lowe be able to turn up the heat again and force Villanova into mistakes? The third thing to watch for will be whether the home teams can pick up a win in conference play, Rob. Yeah, amazingly, through five conference games this season, the road team has gone 4-1, mm. and one, and I'll be watching to see if that trend continues. Of the four home teams this Saturday, U Albany, Elon, and Villanova are unbeaten on their home fields this season, and Rhode Island's only loss came in triple overtime to Delaware. Will they be able to hold serve again this week, or will the visitors' success continue in league play? Those were Rob's three things to watch. Make sure to stay with CAFootball.com and CAFootball's social media outlets throughout the weekend for the latest.